Hi, and welcome to the lovely city of Paris, one of the most beautiful, historical, and above all, romantic cities in Europe, if not the world. Right now, we are on Place de l'Opéra, named after the Garnier Opera, also known as Palais Garnier, the ornate building in front of you. It's one of the most famous opera houses in the world, built in the 1800s at the behest of Emperor Napoleon III. Today, the opera house is mainly used for ballet performances. This picturesque square is called Parvis de l'Hôtel de Ville, named after the pretty building in front of you, which houses the city's local administration. And looking to your right, you can see one of the most iconic landmarks of Paris, the Notre Dame, which is where we're going next. The most famous Gothic cathedral of the Middle Ages and distinguished for its size, antiquity and architectural interest, the Notre Dame de Paris. It lies at the eastern end of the Ile de la Cité. The cathedral suffered damage on several occasions during its long history. The most devastating one happens to be the most recent. During a restoration campaign in 2019, a fire broke out in the cathedral's attic and a massive blaze destroyed most of the roof, as well as some important ornaments. It may take decades before the cathedral is completely restored. Centre Pompidou is a 20th century architectural marvel with a very distinct and recognizable look. It is home to the National Museum of Modern Art and it's internationally renowned for its 20th and 21st century art collections. Works of iconic artists are displayed chronologically, from Matisse and Picasso to Andy Warhol and Anish Kapoor. Between Saint-Germain-des-Prés and the Latin Quarter lies the Jardin de Luxembourg. The gardens were inspired by the Boboli Gardens in Florence and created upon the initiative of Queen Mary de' Medici, mother of King Louis XIII, in 1612. The gardens cover 25 hectares of land and are split into French and English gardens. At the centre of the gardens lies the Palais de Luxembourg, originally built to be the royal residence of the regent Mary de' Medici. After the revolution, it was refashioned into a legislative building. Since 1958, it has been the seat of the Senate of the Fifth Republic, France's current republic system of government. La Grande Arche de la Défense, also called La Grande Arche de la Fraternité, the Arc of Brotherhood, is a building and now a monument in the center of La Défense and in the commune of Puteaux to the west of the city. It is usually referred to simply as La Grande Arche. Let's see what the view is like from those stairs. <laughs> 